Today I woke up feeling absolutely no excitement, no desire, and no love for God in my time with Him. It hurts to feel that feeling knowing you love someone, but you don't feel it. Knowing that even though you don't feel it, you have to push forward, continuing to put in effort to keep the relationship alive. This morning, I felt like I didn't have the motivation nor the discipline to do so. And somehow I still ended up in my word and in communication with my father. Not by my own strength, but his. Because before that moment, no matter how much I told myself, love, you need to spend more time in your word. You need to get up, be productive, go, 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 do, do, do. I couldn't. And I hated myself even more than I did when I woke up, after I realized no matter how much I tried to force myself to do, I couldn't. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. Philippians 2, 13. For some reason, the idea of the standard everyone expects me to live up to as my father's daughter, as a Christian, the idea of having to uphold that image and remain holy and righteous for the rest of my life completely overwhelmed me. I just felt like a weight was dropped on my shoulders and that no one else seemed to carry it in their walk with Christ. But I couldn't be more wrong. This walk is far from easy. And some days, it's far from enjoyable. When I say this, and I feel the way I felt when I woke up this morning, I feel as though I'm a bad Christian, a bad person, and like I'm not deserving of the sacrifice Jesus made for me. I look around at everyone else who walks with God, and they look okay. They look like they're taking in and taking on the joy that the Lord so graciously placed within us, with no issues at all. But I've come to the conclusion that although they may not show it, it doesn't mean they don't experience it from time to time. It doesn't mean that they don't struggle just as much as I do to say yes to God every single day. It doesn't mean that just because they conceal their emotions, they are any better or any worse than I am for sharing mine. But I want you to know, you're not a bad Christian, no matter which end of the spectrum you're on. Some days you may feel the urge to share encouragement, and some days you may feel the urge to share your doubts, anger, and sadness, so that others who feel the same can acknowledge there's nothing wrong with that. God never promised that we would never change as the days do. He only promised he wouldn't. I am the Lord, and I do not change. That is why you descendants of Jacob are not already destroyed. Malachi 3.6 This walk with God won't feel good every day. Some days I feel like I felt in the world. Lost, sad, and questioning life. But now it's just easier knowing I have God. The one who made me and knows my inmost being. Going through it all with me. Divinely guiding each step I take. Loving me through all of my ups and downs. Loving me when I don't want to love him. This isn't an excuse to not respect God or to live in sin or to not give him the love that he deserves. But it's just acknowledging and accepting. We all have those days and times when we feel down or unmotivated, drained and tired. And no matter how much of the Bible we read, no matter how much time we spend in prayer or how much time we spend worshiping, the tears and the pain in our chest still won't stop. This is why we have God. We try to work all the pain away on our own. And all he's saying to us as you're rushing and running around, trying to fix it is, please just lean on me. Please just let me take care of it. Please just remember I'm here and that I'll never leave you regardless of how you feel or how you think I feel about you as you go through this rush of overwhelming emotions and thoughts. I don't see you as any less than any of my other sons and daughters. There is nothing you can do to make me love you any more or any less. I just want you to trust in me, 
Use this time to lean on me in my strength, because your own is not sufficient enough. The fear of man brings a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord shall be safe. Proverbs 29:25. We are safe with our faith in God. I've realized it's a beginning to accept that I don't need to fulfill the expectations other Christians or people may have of me. Instead, accept and exalt the abundant love of God that comes with grace and new mercies every morning. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. It's not about you being perfect for Him. It's about you accepting you are made perfect before Him through accepting and believing in Christ. Though some days may seem harder than others, our Father is pleased when we choose Him. Although you're tempted to turn back and leave Him and go back to your old ways of life, you don't. He rejoices in your desire to remain in Him, to remain having faith in Him as hard as it is to stay You choose to. You endure the pain and the suffering. He is pleased to say that you still belong to him. That the schemes of the enemy didn't pull you away from him. That though the enemy may have a tight grasp on your thoughts right now, God has a tight grasp on you. The times of weakness are necessary so we can lean on God completely, realizing how insufficient our own strength is and realizing the perfect, patient, love and devotion God has for us. This moment, day, or week of sadness or lack of motivation is just a part of your journey. It doesn't have to end here. God says there is a time for everything. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3.1 This may just so happen to be a time to weep, a time of mourning, a time to throw away. It doesn't mean there won't be a time to plant, a time to laugh, or a time to dance. It just means that now may not be that time. And that's okay. It's real to feel. It's real to go through things. Being Christian doesn't make us superhuman or incapable of feeling sadness, confusion, or uncertainty. It just makes us more capable to overcome it. Because we're aware it's not by our strength, but by His. So surrender. Let Him do the work within you.